excited about how well we played tonight. I thought that was, uh, you know, another phenomenal back-to-back -back here now efforts. Uh, starting with our defense, I thought our defense, uh, to start the game was really good. They had had something working for them there. If we got to restart, what they kept doing them the same play four times, and we, we got burned out a little bit, but uh, we finally figured that out. Uh, I thought that, uh, you know, Reggie Perry was absolutely unbelievable tonight. When you look at uh, his his stat line, 9 for 13, 22 points, 12 rebounds, 6 assists, 0 turnovers, you know, excellent defense. And he was just, you know, uh, you know, a, in, a, in a class by himself out there. Uh, I thought that Nick had a phenomenal game again. Uh, we had 21 assists on 37 made baskets. Eight by Nick, seven in the first half when we had the 11 point lead. Uh, Reggie has six assists. So he's in the, the complete game. I thought that uh, you know, Abdul's four blocks and Tyson Carter, you know, Tyson is just playing phenomenally now and so excited for him because he's worked so hard, uh, you know, and uh, it's just, it's really fun. And it, it's big to have him as our, our point guard. I should have done that way sooner when Nick's not in the game because it turns Iverson to focus on getting out scoring and being aggressive, looking to score instead of trying to run the offense. And, uh, you know, again, another coaching mistake that uh, fortunately we, we figured out here uh, this last week. Uh, but, oh, you know, Robert got in foul trouble in the first half. Uh, I didn't want to play him. We pick up his third with seven, seven and a half to go. And uh, I thought he had a big second half for us and really played well. And you can just see how together our guys are right now. Uh, both, you know, and how they're playing and how they're supporting one another. It's just really fun to, to be part of. Outboarding by 18, uh, you know, that's obviously, uh, you know, who we are. we got to continue to be that physical team. And the first half, Reggie got the ball six times in the post, and we scored every time. So, obviously, it would be a good idea to keep playing through him in the post. Questions? And Jared's got the microphone. We'll start with Paul over there, and then we'll get to Steve on the front row. You mentioned earlier this week you were going to use multiple guys, Gardner and Edwards, and seemed like Nick and DJ got the ball for that. Just, just talk about the job that they did. And yeah, they I thought success. DJ, especially in the first half, was just phenomenal defensively. I mean, he, he, you know, Edwards is an, an incredible talent. He's one for six in the first half. We knew he'd come out and be much more aggressive uh, in the second half, and he ends up getting 19. But he's five for 16 from the field. You know, he got to the foul line, which was you know huge for him. But again, you know, when you, a guy, he averages 16 shots a game. So if you can hold him to under 33%, you're doing a great job. Coach, uh, as you documented yourself, Tyson had been struggling shooting. Now he's coming off the bench. He seemed like he's a different player. What do you attest that to? Uh, I just think, you know, changing it up, you know, get, get, making it a, a change. And you know, he's very comfortable because uh, he's done it, you know, in his career. And, uh, you know, it's not affecting his minutes. You know, it's just a, a change in how we start the game. I mean, you look at his minutes. Uh, his minutes are, are, you know, still way up there, and uh, you know that's where it will continue to be. Uh, last game, you shot over sixty percent inside of three. This game, over seventy percent inside of three. What is making your post offense so effective in these past couple of games? Good players, uh, good spacing. Uh, you know, keep being patient. Not always being on defense, but being patient with our offense when it's, uh, you know, not something there. And we had some transition baskets in the first half that were great. Uh, you know, really some uh, some uh, good looks and nice passing and, and great finishes. So that got us up to the great start, and we want to continue to do that. And I thought we did a great job today as a young team playing and understanding time and score. Time and score. And being very intelligent, understanding flow of the game. And, you know, when to push it, when not to. I think that was, was a huge for us tonight. And they're a difficult team to play against. This is a talent. They just beat Memphis on the road, I think, a week ago today. Maybe, no, it was two weeks ago today. Uh, you know, they just crushed Tennessee. Uh, I mean, they're good. They're a very good team. And they, what's hard is they're switching everything. You know, you don't see that all the time. You don't see everything switched. I mean, they're switching a 5'10 point guard onto your five sometimes. And so you've got to be able to slow up and make, you know, I think Reggie got the ball early in one of the first two possessions just on a situation like that. So that's what helps when you're switching and you have a chance to get mismatches in there uh, with a guy as powerful as Reggie is at 6'10 
you know, 247, who can pass. We'll go to Garrick front right. Well, Nick has a four to one assist to turnover ratio and eight assists and is distributed as well as he is tonight. How difficult is your offense to stop? That's, uh, that's going to be good for us moving forward. And I, I think that Nick is really growing right before our eyes in terms of now being a full-time point guard for the first time in his college career. Uh, he's doing a great job. He's really working hard at it. And he watches all the film. Uh, you know, he really studies it. You know, he's really working at it. And that's big, uh, you know, as your quarterback. You know, your quarterback's, you know, a key guy. And, and not only that, he's watching our opponents. I mean, he watches – a ton of film, which, you know, really, you know, is what, you know, great players do. I mean, all the great ones are watching film all the time in any sport, you know, and they're watching it in baseball, football, basketball, whatever it is. Middle second row and Joel. I know you believe in your guys, but how impressed, maybe even surprised are you with how, how much you how well your guys have responded this week? Yeah, I'm not surprised. I'm excited. Uh, we're, we're playing how we're capable of playing right now. And I think we can continue to improve and get better. And that's always the key, is continuing to get better and grow and become better in your execution at both ends of the floor. And uh, so I'm really, you know, excited for our guys. And, uh, you know, they should feel good about themselves. And uh, my main thing is, you know, we have a 6 o'clock game on a Wednesday night. we got to have this place. Uh, pack is we can be for a great Arkansas team coming in here who uh, is really, really good and very high ranked in the net. I mean, they're an NCAA tournament team, no doubt. It's a difficult team to play because you're playing against five guards a lot of the time. So this will be a real challenge for us this prep coming up, but we're, we're looking forward to it. We'll go front row right to Jalen. Coach, you guys were uh, hedging the screens most of the game, and uh, earlier they got a couple of quick with the hands. What did you uh, – what defensive adjustment did you make earlier? You know, they really hurt us on a, a, a play that we had gone over multiple times where we got caught on the drive. They were going right down the middle to his left hand. And, uh, you know, they, they found something. And like any good team, you know, any good coach, he kept running it again and again. It really hurt us. We weren't rotating down on the weak side. I thought that number 10 tried to get behind Abdul and uh, back cut when he's – because he's so – uh, all the time, seeing the ball and ready to help. I mean, so, so we have to rotate behind them. And we, we, we uh, failed to do that down in Baton Rouge a couple of times. So it's something we got to get better at. Go ahead and get it to Brian. Middle second. Is this, a good, is this as good a two-game stretch as you can remember in your, in your time here at Mississippi State? Yeah, I don't know. I mean, uh, uh, ask me uh, in our next press conference, and I'll look back and tell you. But it, it's the, the best, uh, obviously, that we've played here uh, this year. And uh, I think we're capable of continuing to improve and get better. That's what's exciting. I mean, you can just see our guys and their belief in one another. And the biggest thing, all good teams play for each other. These guys are really embodying that. They're playing for one another. That's what's so exciting for me is, is we're seeing this team grow right now. Uh, it's really, really fun. Anything else for Coach? All right, we'll see you guys Tuesday. Okay.